you know, sometimes in a survival situation, you have to think outside the box and you have to come up with something really, you know, you may not normally do in your own kitchen, but you know, if you got to throw a few things together, you may be surprised of just how good it tastes. Don't knock it till you try it. And if you're hungry, I guarantee you, you're going to eat anything. So today's video is going to be on the top 10 canned goods that you need to prep for and make sure that you have a kind of a good stockpile of just in case of a natural disaster or emergency situation, loss of job. The list goes on and on and on because of the world that we live in. Okay, so you just everybody maybe have your own top 10, but this is to give the beginners a pretty good idea of what the consistents out there all are saying and basically kind of agree on. Number 10, the good old dice tomatoes. Now you're asking yourself, why would I get, you know, why do I want to get dice tomatoes? Maybe not like tomato sauce or something like that. You know, if you're Italian, you just don't, you want dice tomatoes. You can always smash these down and make sauce. But if you got sauce, you can't make it back into a tomato now, can you? Now, if you shop around, you can usually pick these up. They're relatively cheap. You can get them in all different shapes and sizes too just whatever it is you can afford and how much space you do have. Number nine. Coming in at number nine. Canned corn. All right, you can put this in a lot of different dishes that you're making. You know, if you're making soups, if you're making stews, whatever it is, you know, uh, you can add in corn. You know, it is a filler. And if it's a survival situation, you're looking for fillers. So corn would be a good filler. So number eight today is green beans. Now you can get cut green beans, you can get French style uh, green beans, you can get whole green beans in cans. Green beans is like a, a staple food. You know, everybody, most generally everybody likes green beans. And if, but if you don't, but if it's a survival situation, you know, green beans are the way to go. Number seven, the magical fruit. Baked beans. You can do a lot of stuff with a can of baked beans. You can add stuff to it. You can add meat to it. You can add bacon to it, burger to it, whatever else. You know, it's good as a side dish. And the best thing about this is you can open this up with your manual can opener. Don't forget that, people. You can eat these right out of the can, room temperature. They're delicious. And they're full of all types of good goodies for your body. Number six is tuna fish. Now you can buy whichever kind of tuna fish you want to buy. Some people say to buy an oil because it will last longer. I don't like the oil. And one of the reasons being I buy all mine in water is, is because if I'm going to say open this can of tuna fish and make a dish and I'm going to put it in there, I don't want the oil from this in with my meal. There are some studies out there that say that if it's packed in oil, it may last longer. Number five, Hormel Chili is your best bet because you can pop this little top. You don't even need a can opener. And you take this, pour it in your little pot, put it over your little stove of whatever kind it may be, and next thing you know, you have a meal. Number four would be roast beef. Fully cooked roast beef in a can. They're really good, and they have a very long shelf life. And it's meat that you can be putting into your body or your family's body in an emergency situation. Number three, we're getting down there folks, bear with me, beef stew. The biggest thing is, you know, beef stew, it comes with the meat, potatoes, carrots, and the whole nine yards all in a little can with the pull top again, which is a bonus. Number two on the list is chicken breast. Canned chicken breast. You know, things are going pretty good here. You know, I mean, you can make some really good meals. You know, sometimes in a survival situation, you have to think outside the box and you have to come up with something really, you know, you may not normally do in your own kitchen, but you know, if you got to throw a few things together, you may be surprised of just how good it tastes. Don't knock it till you try it. And if you're hungry, I guarantee you, you're going to eat anything. 
And the number one thing that everybody out there on the web says that you should have everybody's favorite, it's Spam. It's the wonderful packed lunchy meat. Now, did everybody just like go, oh God, no. Yes, if you're gonna eat Spam, you know, um, preferably you wanna make sure that you have a way to cook it. Uh, if I had to eat it right out of the can, I don't know how well I would like that, but if I was hungry enough, I would do it. But if you can fry this, um, it is actually very good. Now, Spam comes in, this is classic. They have a wide a range of flavors. So you may like something with a little bit more spice or something like that. You have to go to the store and look because there's just all types of Spam nowadays. But Spam is the number one winner of the top 10 canned goods that you need to have in your food emergency pantry. So that was the top 10 canned goods. I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Get out there and start prepping. You know what you need. Go get it. Talk to you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.